Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, let's do a pocket dump. The idea behind an EDC or an everyday carry, and some of you may already be well aware of this, but basically in a survival situation or in some kind of a natural disaster, you basically are going to have what you have on you. It could be falling out of a canoe, uh, it could be some sort of an accident, whether it be natural or man caused, whatever that might be. But in that situation, basically layered on your body, you may not have your backpack, you may not have your duffel bag or your suitcase. Uh, you may just have literally what is attached to your body. And so the idea, of course, as you layer these various items around your body, is to have things with you that will enable you to survive should the occasion arise and should you need to use your skills. Recently, one of my new subscribers was begging me if I would please do uh, a pocket dump on my EDC or my everyday carry. And so I agreed to do that. So here it is. This is what I carry every day in my pockets. No matter where I am, what I'm doing, uh, the only exception would be is if I'm flying on a plane, of course, I have to modify it a bit. But other than that, let me show you what I carry that complements my skill level and my abilities uh, in case I would get into an emergency. Okay, so one of the things that I carry, and most people do, is I have a set of keys. And I have a lot of keys. I have a lot of places that I have to have access to. But I have several items on my key ring and we'll get into that one by one. The first item that I like to carry is a small ferro rod. This is the Exotac, and many of you are familiar with this. I've had this one for a really long time. It's a very neat little ferro rod, and it comes on this S-beaner clip here. And along with it, I also have a P38 can opener. Let me zoom in on this, get you a little better idea. So yeah, what we have right here is the little ferro rod that I carry and it comes on this s -beaner. it's got a little locking uh, sliding clip this is made by night eyes and the idea here is that I can push this clip and I can take this off very easily now if you're not familiar with this this was originally black most of the black paint's been worn off from carrying it it has o-ring seals now the reason you want that is because sweat because it has salts in it are very uh, very tough on a ferro rod it can pit it and cause it to deteriorate and so the O-ring seals, that's one reason I carry this. There are other pocket type models, but I think this is very effective. So it unscrews here, and this becomes your striker. And it has several surfaces here. Then this part unscrews like so. The ferro rod's in there. You just literally take this and screw it onto the other side, which then, of course, gives you a longer handle. The striker in the other hand, and a very nice spark. And I have started fires with this. There we go. Got to get the striker just right. This is an excellent, excellent option to have. Probably one of the neatest things about this Exotec fire uh, steel is that this fire, ferro rod is threaded. And so you just unscrew it and put a new one in when you wear this out. And I do keep one on hand just in case. I don't use it a whole lot. I have practiced starting fires with it because it's good to practice with your gear. But generally I carry this as an emergency and as a backup. Also, like I said, I carry on this key ring also a P38 can opener, and most of you know this is just a military style can opener. Uh, just opens up right here, put it on the can, and you work your way around the can uh, to open up your can if you need to, to get food to eat. Of course, S Beaner is very useful for a lot of things. Uh, this is a gift from a friend of mine, and it's got a bit of a concavity in here. It's just a little leaf made by a blacksmith, and you could use this uh, if you needed to in your hand for a socket for a bow drill set if necessary. Uh, socket's always good to have with you. I also carry a pair of fingernail clippers. I consider this to be super useful for not only keeping your nails clean, but also splinters, uh, dead skin, uh, anything that might uh, cause a problem uh, on your hands, uh, most especially, but also for uh, clipping fishing line and small things like that. It's just a really great item to have with you. Then moving on around the keychain, getting all these keys out of the way. I also have a very small multi-tool that fits over top of one of my keys. And it also is on a little uh, clip, so it comes off easily. All you have here is a, a pair of tweezers on this end, 
multiple screwdrivers, a bottle opener right here, and it also has uh, a small area where you can cut cordage on, uh, just a little bit of a, of a blade right here. And uh, you can slide your cord in there and cut that. So that works really effective. The other item, of course, is this Cubiton. And this is just, uh, honestly, I use it most of the time just to, uh, so I don't lose my keys, so keep it in my pocket. But this could be used as self-defense. Uh, there are training videos on how to use a Cubiton and all of that. Of course, you cannot go through airport security with this. And so I always take it off and any of the other items. You can fly with a ferro rod, and pretty much everything on this key ring with the exception of the Cubiton uh, is acceptable through airport security. In my other pocket, I always carry a knife. Again, like I said, unless I'm going through airport security, but this is a Blade Tech knife, and I always keep this sharp. It is S30V steel, and is a non-serrated plain edge. Uh, it's got good jimping on the spine here, here, and here, so you can choke up on it. Uh, this is made for a hunting type knife. I keep a length of paracord on the end. Again, this helps me if I need cord, but it also uh, is there to help me so that I don't lose it while it's in my pocket. The next item that I carry is a Bic lighter. And this one had a wrap on it. And as I've told you before in my other videos, I take the wrap off so that you can easily see the clear uh, through the plastic there. And it allows it to be translucent and I can see how much fluid is left in it. And I prefer Bic lighters, they just, they're just better. Last item I carry in the other pocket is a comb. This is one of those uh, unbreakable, you know, toughy combs, and it's not for vanity's sake. Uh, it is nice to be able to comb your hair, uh, whatever, when you're out, but it also doubles as a tick remover or a tick finder to comb through your hair if you should need it when you're out and about, and you've been a few days out there, you're really gonna appreciate having something like this uh, to keep yourself clean. It's very important not to get, uh, get all nasty <laughs> when you're out in the woods. All right, in my wallet then, I carry a Fresno lens. And of course the Fresno lens, it's inside of a little bit of a, a plastic sheet here, uh, sheath if you will, and this sleeve protects it from getting scratched. And of course, you know, if you use uh, this type of a magnifier, uh, you want to make sure that the little rib side points up and that the flat, smoother side points down when you're trying to focus onto your material, where you're trying to start. Now, one of the things that you struggle with out in the woods is dry tinder. And so I have solved that by, in a small Ziploc bag, I have a sure strip. And these, of course, are made for the military. It is basically uh, some type of a fabric. And of course, it's easier to put in than it is to get out. But those of you who know what these are, this is folded over several times. And it's just some waxed fabric of some sort. I have two pieces of it in here. And so they're folded over in half. And you can scrape this up and you can either light it with a ferro rod, a lighter, or it will catch uh, you know, some rays from the sun with the magnifying lens there, the Fresnel lens. And I just keep it in here to keep the wax off of everything else. And it also gives me a small Ziploc bag. Again, it's pretty small, wouldn't be real useful for a lot of things. The other items that I carry on my body are of course, my SOG multi-tool. And I have a video on this where I show you all that it can do. Saw, scissors, uh, extra blade and all that. And I could put a link up here to the video. So that's a very useful tool, I highly recommend. And then last but not least, of course, is my cell phone. And I really like cell phones. They work great uh, when they work. But of course, you're always susceptible to not having a signal or battery loss. And of course, you can carry extra batteries. You can carry solar panels and all that kind of stuff. But this is just the stuff that I carry every single day. And so as you can see here, I have three ways to start a fire. The ferro rod, the lighter, the Fresnel lens. I have extra tinder. I have two cutting blades. I also have a saw here. And then of course, various other implements for uh, hygiene and other necessities, extra cordage. And uh, hopefully if I have a signal, then of course I have the cell phone and I can call for help if I need to. So this is the stuff that I carry every day. This is my EDC. What do you carry every day? Make sure and leave your comments down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
we'd sure appreciate it. Also, make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.